sorry, a loving peace to you. Um, so I want to talk briefly about the success mindset. The success mindset is one that you are able to magnetically attract your desires and wants easily and effectively into your life. Um, it's it's one of those things that many of us believe we have, but when you look at your exterior, okay, which reflects your interior, what you think, which is when you look at the Emerald Tablets, it speaks it speaks about it. it says as above, so below; as within, so without. So what you're perceiving to be reality within your mind, you will know if it really is your belief, if it shows in your external. In other words, are you living your belief? If so, then you know that you vibrationally match internally and externally. If not, that's okay. That's just an indication that you gotta keep going. Keep working on it until it does become a perfect mirror reflection, the internal and the external. When you have that success mindset, some of the things that you will notice is you will be able to, you will feel abundant all the time. It won't be fake. It'll be real. You'll feel it. Despite maybe, despite the fact that most people may look at you and say, well, you don't got a, a billion dollars. You don't have, uh, you know, this and you don't have that. That's not, that's not wealth. Okay. That's not the, the, the success mindset. Success mindset is that is absolute abundance in all aspects of your life. And you got to remember your perception on what success is is different from someone else and the level of success that you reach will be in accordance to your belief so what does that mean it means that if you believe that you are successful but yet you have a $13 an hour job you have a, a nice good maybe a girlfriend maybe not even married but just having a good girlfriend, maybe marriage is not important to you. Maybe you got a nice girlfriend, maybe you got a nice kid, or maybe you don't have a nice kid. Maybe you have a nice dog, and you have a good family. Maybe you get along with your girlfriend's family. They just love you like a son, and vice versa. You know, you got a good family, they love her as well. Or maybe you never had a family, and your girlfriend's family took you to take you in. So not only are you having a good girlfriend, but the girlfriend's family loves you and treats you in a way that you never had or felt before. So that to you, going from not having those things in your life to accumulating these simple things, because to us, to many of us, it's just simple things. Um, you may feel abundant and that may be a completion of your success right there you could live for the rest of your life at that level of success and you will no one can tell you you're not successful you will be content in that so success or your variation of the success really depends on your outlook depends on your perception okay um Again, true success should be abundance in all aspects of your life. It should be everything that you do. Um, now, if you're looking for the ability to truly go beyond the norm, and we're seeing that in today's world as we awaken to this greater energy, we're seeing people are realizing that we are not limited by anything anymore. As we grow and understand that, as, as, as we master the faculties and connect of our minds and connect to higher source, that anything and everything is possible. We're starting to see that, okay? And this is nothing new. In the Great Depression, they knew that. Most people don't realize that within the Great Depression, we had more self-made millionaires than, in his, than any other time in history. 
That was because Napoleon Hill introduced um, the whole entrepreneurship mentality. Is that, you know, success mentality. And a lot of those people from those times grew to, to become um, masters of the industry and leading the world. And here we are again, going through an even greater awakening. Interesting enough, 73 years later to date, we have, or 73, 72 years later to date, maybe 73 now, you see the book called, um, by Napoleon Hill, Outwitting the Devil, which talks about a lot of the stuff that's happening now and how to use this and the tricks and tribulations of negative, the negative energy. Something you may want to look into. Um, but uh, the success mindset, that to really get beyond the norm, as I stated earlier, you have to go beyond your mind. You're beyond the reality in your mind. The reality you live is just the mirror reflection. The reality that you're living in the physical is just the mirror reflection of what you see in your mind. So change what you see in your mind and you will be able to attract what you want externally. Okay? So when you develop the success mindset, you'll be able to attract a lot of the things you want at a higher frequency meaning that much quicker they come quicker it's like you think about it and boom next thing you know it's you you're, you're living it that's not an easy thing it's like a muscle anything that you do with your mind is like a muscle like when you do with your body and you have to develop that muscle you have to strengthen that muscle okay so you have to work at it you have to work at at Believing that you are abundant, not when you're not when you physically have the, the cash or or something tangible to prove it, because faith is in the action, not in the believing. Okay, what does that mean, right? That means that because that let me clarify that because people are like, well, you have to believe to have faith. Well, you take the action before anything else. If you really believe, you take action. Just believe. I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it because I know it's gonna it's 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 gonna it's gonna flow with what I desire, and it's all gonna come together. So that's that taking that action, that leap of faith is real faith. Some people say they believe in something, but they wait and they wait and they wait to the stars align and all these beautiful things and and fireworks and to, you know what I mean and stuff like and whatnot. But that's not the way it works. You have to put the intent in your mind. A success mindset says, this is what I want, and then I'm taking the action because I want it, and it's going to happen, and I know it's going to happen, and I know the universe is going to uh, align with my internal because this is what I believe, so I'm reflecting this outside, and I have to take that action, the external action, to align so that it can be a tangible thing, circumstance, or situation in this reality. That's the success mindset. So it says mindset doesn't see any uh, uh, situation or negative situation, circumstance or event as negative. It sees it as an opportunity to find a great lesson within that circumstance, that negative circumstance or situation, event, person or thing. So when you have that success mindset, you're not, you're, you're, you're like failure, doubt, fear, those, those things, you, you know, you, of course you're gonna feel them. Because as long as you're a human being, you're always going to be trying to chatter, you know, keep that chatter, that, that, that negative chatter quiet. That's why you always use the affirmations, the visualizations, always strengthening the mind. Always kind of like going to the gym, but within your mind, exercising that mind. Okay? And so the more you do that, the, 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 the greater and easier it would be for you. But you will feel these things. The difference is with the success mindset, you'll be able to maneuver through a lot of these obstacles, through these illusions, and understand that you're, it's here. Without giving you, without giving it the attention, the negative, negative, without giving negativity the attention, it must go away. Because it, it can't survive without that energy, without feeding it. It's like, it's like a parasite, okay? Take away the host, it dies. So that's what you gotta understand. The success mindset allows us to go through life and have what we want but you have to be in order to be really like let's say you want to go beyond the normal uh, success you have to program your mind 
and work within your mind, not outside. Some people say work, work, work harder or work harder, right, in life, but it's work smarter, not harder. And that phrase is basically meaning that you use the, if there's something in your way, use your mind to remove it. Visualize, you know, seeing it go away. As you're going to sleep at night, visualize what you want. Let, let yourself fall asleep to the, to the visualization of what you want or the reality that you want. Do that, keep doing that, keep building that reality within. You keep doing this and you're gonna eventually build that success mindset. It's, it's a structured way of thinking. And when you do things a certain way, you get certain results. And when you, as you become more successful in that, you start to realize and you start to gain the confidence and that confidence builds more of the action-orientated faith where you just say, I've done this, I've been here before, so I'm gonna do it again. Not a problem, boom. And you do it and you become, and you become more and more and more successful. But you don't have to wait 30, 40, 50 years to be successful. You can change your mind, the way you think, the way you perceive reality, work on changing that. And it can take a long time. It can take a long time. I, I know for a fact that there's a few paradigms that I have that is keeping that. I feel something in my life at this vibration that I never felt before. And it's, 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 it's absolute success vibration. And, and, I, and it's sincere. And I've been working on this for a good seven, seven years now. And it's just, you know, I've had success in other areas of my life. But I'm talking about like really, a, a, you know, and those things are, are huge. But this is more something like I, one of the big desires I've ever, I've ever you know, hoped for and I feel it. And so I keep adjusting and working within here to allow it to, to that belief system to, to come into my reality so I can phase in and stay in that, that realm of reality. And that's and then I'll, one day I'll wake up and I'll be living that reality. Like you hear a lot of these stories, you know, from rags to riches. And, you know, it is possible. I've known people that have done it. I've I've met people that have done it. I have mentors that have done it. It really is true. It's not, you know, wishful thinking. But I just want to let you know that develop the success mindset. Learn to, to think bigger and to work in within your mind. Utilizing a lot of tools that I'm teaching you and other teachers that are teaching you. Learn to master the faculties of your mind. That's where it's at. That's the bridge to the higher self and to source and and when you can do that when you can see it here and hold it there it's going to happen and it really is true we'll get more into details we'll go get, get more into uh, uh um exercises that will help you with that until next time as always love and peace don't forget to subscribe any comments leave them below love and peace this is right peace out